How was your day, son? Fine, Dad. Just busy, you know? School and all. Their conversations were brief and strained. I created this full animation video in just 15 minutes. You can also create this kind of animated story within a few minutes, although you don't know animating. Sounds unbelievable? But this is possible. In this video, I am going to share the method of making this animation video with an AI tool. So, without further ado, let's dive in. This is Devit and you are watching AI Lockup. First of all, we need a story. To generate the story, I will use ChatGPT. Not only the story, but I will also generate the scene description and storyboard with ChatGPT. After logging into your ChatGPT account, come to the prompt box and enter the prompt. I want to make an animated video about a father and son. Please write a story for me. The storyline should be about a father who is depressed about his son. Note that, I will make the video with narration and some dialogue. Here you can change the storyline to generate a new story. You will get all of the prompts in the Discord server's prompt guide channel. Alright, our story is ready. You may notice that ChatGPT generates the story with other information. Now with this story, we will make our animation video. Before that, we need to generate voiceovers for narration and dialogue. To generate the voiceover, I will use a free-to-use AI tool called 123Apps. Open a new tab on your browser and search for 123Apps. Enter the first link and then create an account. Now you will find a vast number of tools for various use cases. Select the text-to-speech tool from here. This is basically an online video editor. On the left side, you will find the text-to-speech option. First of all, set the language and then set a voice actor. Our first part is narration. For narration voice, I will use a female voice. Keep in mind the name of the voice actor. After that, you can set the speed and pitch. Now go back to ChatGPT and copy the first narration paragraph. Paste the text into this box. Now you can hear a preview. Mr. Paul often found himself staring at the photograph of his son. If all is right, click on the add button from here. The voice has been generated and added Mr. to the Paul timeline. Found... Now to download the audio, click here and then set MP3 as the file format. Next, hit the export button to save the audio clip. Okay, our first narration voiceover clip is ready. The next voiceover is a dialogue of the father. Copy the dialogue script and paste the script into the 123 app script box. Now we need to select a mature voice actor for the father character. After selecting the voice actor, you can hear a preview. Now before clicking on the add button, delete the existing voiceover clip from the timeline, come back to the text-to-speech option, and hit the add button. Once the voiceover clip is added to the timeline, export the audio in MP3 format. Okay, our next dialogue is for the son character. For this character, we have to choose a young voice actor. After choosing the voice actor, click on the add button and then export the audio. In this way, generate voice for all of the narration and dialogues with associated voice actors and then save them on your device. Alright, our voiceovers are ready, now it's time to generate the actual animation video. To generate the animated video, I will use an AI animation generator tool called Animaker. To find Animaker, open a new tab on your browser and search for Animaker. Now enter the first link. After coming to the Animaker homepage, click on the sign up button and create an account if you are new to Animaker. Once you are logged in, your interface will be like this one. Here you will find a vast number of templates and actors. You can start with them. But we already have a customized storyline and storyboard. So, we will start from scratch. Click on the create button from here and then select create a video. Now you will find a huge library of pre-built templates in various use cases. But we don't need them. Let's start with blank. Now we have to choose the aspect ratio. Select your desired aspect ratio. This is the animation video generator page. First of all, we have to set the environment of the first scene. According to the storyboard, our first scene is about a living room. Come to the background tab from here. You will find the background library. Even you can generate a background with AI. I am searching for a living room. After getting the search result, find the best one and add it to the timeline. After adding the background, we have to add the characters. First, I will add the father character. Come to the character tab from here. You will find a vast number of pre-built characters here. 
Even you can create your own character. This time I am skipping this part. Okay, find a suitable character for father and then add it to the timeline. Now you will find a new option called action on the left panel. It will define what our character should do. According to the story, the father is sitting in his living room. So, I will search for sitting action. You will find various sitting actions. Just find the perfect one and select it. And you can see, our character is now in a sitting pose. Now adjust the size and position of the character according to the background. Now, according to the scene, the father character is staring blankly at a photograph on the wall. So, I will add a photo frame on the wall. Come to the property tab and then find the frame section. Add a frame to the timeline and set the size and position. Now we need to add a kid's photograph on this frame. Again, come to the property tab and search for kid. Find the best one and add it to the frame. Adjust the size and the position. Okay, our first scene is ready. Now we have to add the narration audio. Come to the upload tab and then upload the first narration voiceover clip. After adding the voiceover to the timeline, you may have to adjust the scene length or duration. All right, our first scene is completed. Now it's time to create the second scene. According to the storyboard, our second scene is in a dining room and has two characters of a father and a son. So, first, click on the plus icon to create a new scene and then add a dining room as the background. After that, add the father character to the timeline. Always select the same character used in the previous scene. According to the scene description, the character of the father is sitting on a dining table. So, I will select sitting as the action. Now adjust the size and position of the character according to the background. After adding the father character, we have to add the son character. Come to the character tab again and select a character for the son. As per the scene, I am selecting the walking action for the son character. Now as the father looking at the right side. I will set son's character position on the right side of the frame. According to the scene, the son's character will enter the room and sit on the chair. To execute the action, we will use the Action Plus option from here. After coming to the Action Plus setting tab, click on the plus icon to add another action. Select a sitting action this time. Then set the size and position according to the scene. Now play the preview. You may notice that our character is moving so fast. To solve this issue, we have to increase the action time duration. Just increase the time period of the second option from the timeline. Review it again and fix it if needed. Okay, our scene editing is completed, now we have to add the dialogue. The first dialogue is for the father's character. So, select the father's character and then click on the lip sync option from here. Now we need to add the voiceover. You can generate a voice from text, record your own voice, or upload the voice. As we already generated the voiceover, I am uploading the first dialogue audio of the father. Once you upload the audio, it will sync with the character automatically. You may notice, a new audio clip has been added to the timeline. But there is a catch. The audio clip has been added at the start of the scene. We need to set it in an accurate position. Just drag the audio position to your desired position. Now review the clip. How was your day, son? If all is right, create a lip sync with Sun dialogue with Sun character and set the position of the audio. In this way, create new scenes, add characters, set action, narration audio, and dialogue according to the storyboard. And yes, add background music and sound effects. After completing all of the scenes, preview them. Alright, our animation editing is completed, now to export the video, click on the publish button from here and then select download video. Now Animaker will take some time to render the video. Let's first forward this part. And here it is, our animation video is ready. Click on the download icon from here to save the video on your device. Alright, let's enjoy the video. Mr. Paul often found himself staring at the photograph of his son. Alex, from happier times. Now, as Alex grew older, the distance between them seemed. How was your day, son? Fine, Dad. Just busy, you know? School and all. Their conversations were brief and strained. The bond that once felt unbreakable seemed fragile now. Mr. Paul couldn't help but worry about his son's future. 
He missed the days when Alex would share his dreams and aspirations with him. In this way, you can generate live-action animation videos with Animaker. Alright, I will wrap up our video now. Before that, I would love to hear about your experience of animation creation. Share your thoughts and results in the comments section below. Don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful and subscribe to our channel for more amazing tutorials like this one. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, happy creating!